Peak Eater free wave shaper effect plugin. Peak Eater lets you choose between different wave shaping functions to clip everything above ceiling level. Therefore, you can boost overall volume of your track safely without worrying about some nasty peak, which would go above maximum loud volume of your DAW. Yeah, free to download. It's on GitHub. So, a free clipper, if you don't have one already. There are some good ones in Reaper already, but that one has a nice display and everything. So this is still a beta plugin, but probably worth looking at. All right, so we'll just set the ceiling so that that one peak gets cut off. That's pretty effective and easy. Pull down the ceiling, it prevents that sound from going past that level. There's different types, so different kind of character. It's a, it is a wave shaper, so you can think of it as a, a soft clipper or like a distortion. And then once all the peaks are eaten, you can increase the overall level. I feel like that's kind of a decent level already. But. That's the difference. That's what That's what we're taking out with this. So that function in Reaper is called Delta Solo, if you don't know about that already. So you just alt-click or right-click and choose Delta Solo. And it's basically uh, doing like a null flip. Whatever has changed from the input is heard. Link input with output, so that should balance the levels. So it didn't increase in level, um, but you can hear a lot more distortion happening. I think the different types of uh, wave shaping here are kind of hard to tell the difference between, unless you're specifically listening in delta mode. Even then, I hardly hear a difference. If it was just a hard and a arc tangent version, that would be fine with me. Basically, a, a, like a hard and a soft mode. But yeah, it's useful. This is how I wish relimit worked. Um, I'm always annoyed with relimit. I always feel like what I saw there in that in Peak Eater was how I expect relimit to work. So they're not linked right now. I will turn down. And as I turn it down, the entire waveform shrinks. It This has gain linked to it, and I don't want that. I just want to choose the ceiling, right? I want this red line to move, but the waveform to stay the same. Right, so I'm barely getting any peak reduction. It's only like right at um, at zero where that's happening. But if I turn down the threshold, that's going to increase the level. Let's say I, I clip it at minus five and turn that up. Now with that similar to how I expect it to look, it was going to get a lot louder. And that's not at all what I want. Peak Eater. And some of the other plugins are more intuitive for me for doing that sort of just turning down kind of limiting your compression.
I wish they had some sort of um, threshold uh, unlinked from volume, but they are different tools. Pkitter is cool for a free plugin. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think for like a lone developer making a free plugin, it's excellent. A similar one is Clipshifter, which I don't actually have here. Well, I'll show you the T-Rex Clipper. This one kind of works the same as Relimit. Turn that one off. So it turns down. And then you can turn up the overall. I think. No, the gain's on the input. <laughs> yeah, you can push into the input. So, again, this one doesn't have a, a fixed threshold necessarily. So it's like, set your ceiling, to, let's say minus 12.6, increase this until we get some gain reduction. And then you might need another plug-in to make up the, the overall the overall output change. Sonable has a, a good one. I was going to mention Clip Shifter. It's one that I have, a, I have an old license for it. LVC Audio. It looks basically like that. So there's um, like the rectified waveform, and you can see two threshold amounts and the gain reduction curve as it's happening. It's got mid-side controls, EQ, um, the two thresholds, kind of like a, a meter for the amount of saturation. You can scale the metering. There's gain reduction or clipping indicators, stuff like that. I like this one a lot. Oh, it's been replaced by Clipped Max. Which I haven't looked at this one at all. Looks like it's multiband and the cost is $50. Not too horrible. Yeah, it's a, it's a good mastering clipper. Relimit is good. It just doesn't work the way that I think. Peak Eater, I could see myself using quite a bit. Sometimes this soft clipper, the JS soft clipper, actually sounds really good. But again, this is working similar to like Relimit, where there's a brick wall output, which turns down the signal. If you want more clipping, you can actually type in higher values than the fader goes. With the boost function, uh, that's like a, an input into clipping. Event Horizon is, again, similar to that. Ceiling, threshold, and the threshold it has an auto gain. They all sound slightly different. Peak Eater seems to have um, a fair amount of control over how it sounds with the type and the oversampling. And then the input and output linking. Pretty cool.